G'day YouTube, Steve Farr. I'm just going to do a quick uh, vid on the relocation of the rear turn signals on my uh, Dyna Low Rider and uh, hopefully that'll help a few other people out there that might be interested in uh, getting something done to there. So I'm going to make up a, a bracket. The thing I've done is I've disconnected the, uh, the shocks so that the back wheel drops down and you can get down underneath and get to the bolts that are uh, uh, up in here yeah so easy to get those bolts out already taken one bolt out this one's come out and I'm gonna get the other one out need to uh, disconnect these Turn signal wise, um, I just film around here what I've done so far. Right, next thing I've done is I've removed the light. I'll just go through that with you. You just press down to get the indicator wire out. These little, just press down the top here and slide this out. And then you can push that back down through there and clip from inside the guard and then just pull the wires back through and they're out. What I've done is I've made up the bracket. You can see here how I've added the light to the bracket, put a bolt through there, put a long shaft nut on the end and use two nuts, cut the wire and then that will sit on the bike like this. I'm not sure if they can see that. So just going through what we've done, just recapping what we've done, we removed the bracket that holds the light on the back here. So, so that's I mean we've removed the bracket which holds on the uh, uh, license plate so we've taken that off there's a spare hole drilled through here so we're going to run our wires down through that hole and then reconnect them back into this light here and uh, I've made up this bracket uh, I've used uh, it's 3 mil aluminium by 32 uh, so that's the thickness of the aluminium and uh, the width of the aluminium is 32 uh, thickness is 3 mil okay so we've drilled a couple of holes for the plate to go in we've drilled a couple of holes for the lights to hook up to and now we're just going to wire it all up it's going to sit on there like so and then that's going to sit like that on the bike That'll sit like that on the bike and the number plate. Now for the wiring bit. So we've cut the wire. As you can see, it's been chopped. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run the wire back through, reconnect, reconnect it in, and then with the spare hole that we have in the guard now, I'm going to run the wire back up to here okay and then I'm going to do the same with the other one if you have a look down here I've re put both these plugs for the indicator lights back into their position that they were originally in chopped the ends off fed the wires through up into the guard and we now have what we did uh, we now have two wires sticking out which are now going to cut the ends off and rejoin license plates back on license plates back on, lights there see what I've done there you go, you can see that it's fitted on there that's how the bracket's gone across the back i just got to Connect these wires up now, tighten everything up. Have another look. 
look on this side you can see see the bracket there she is quick view from the back it's not tightened up yet folks but that's what it's going to look like there she is folks with the bags on just so you can see now we've moved the tail lights back I've got myself a couple of bags I've put on the bike they were uh, off the internet so they were a couple of cheapies but uh, hopefully they'll do a job for a trip that I've got planned for uh, coming up in uh, November hmm.